Alex, thank you very much. In developing news, the city of Wynn, in the city of Wynn, excuse me, one person is dead and at least nine others are injured after a shooting at a block party. Police say this incident all unfolded just last night. Madison Gaffner joins us live in studio after speaking with the community. Madison, I'm interested to hear what the community has to say, but first, what are police saying? Well, Jessica Gary, when police department has requested that the Arkansas State Police Criminal Division takes over the investigation into the Saturday night shooting. Those who live in Wynn, they're tired of the senseless gun violence. Very. I mean, the incident, I don't, it was senseless. How Alfredi Neal feels after last night's shooting in Wynn that left one dead and at least nine injured saying it was a glorious sight earlier as people celebrated when he drove by. But a few moments later, it turned into a heartbreaking scene to hear and watch unfold. There are a bunch of gunshots and I come back and I see one of my best, one of my partners, son laying with a gunshot wound. And I'm, I mean, tragedy. Neil referring to 27 year old Varian Campbell, who was later pronounced dead after being taken to the hospital. Authorities say the other nine victims were also transported to hospitals in Wynn, Jonesboro and Memphis, one of which was taken by helicopter. Two suffered injuries from being ran over by a vehicle. Because of the tragedy, a pastor is trying to help the community heal. The Lord just laid on my heart after especially everything that took place last night to just try to come circle the area in prayer and just try to bring hope, healing and help any way that we can. Pastor Justin Murphy is carrying a cross to each and every house in the neighborhood that surrounded the car wash on the corner of Williams Avenue and Martin Luther King Street, where bottles and caps still lay on the ground. I wish when we can just come together. Police believe that there may be more victims who are able to get into private cars to be taken to area hospitals. Investigators have also identified multiple people of interest and encourage anyone with information about the incident to call Troop D at 870-970-6082. I'm Madison Gaffner reporting live here in studio. Now back to you.